Welcome to Suncoast View. I'm Stephanie Roberts. It's our day, the International Day of the Woman. But should that mean we shut down society? We'll discuss. I'm Stephanie Gallart, Producing Artistic Director at American Stage Theater in St. Petersburg, and I'll preview our latest provocative and thought-provoking play and our fun tradition in the park. I'm Bo Beth, and we're looking at cutting-edge and contemporary homes in Suncoast for sale. And I'm Linda Carson, a Sarasota opera star is here to sing one of the best-known soprano solos and to tell us the heart-wrenching story of Madame Butterfly. All that more right now on Suncoast View. Welcome to the show and welcome back to Stephanie. Great yes. to have you with Thank us. Thank you. Yes. I'm so excited to be back. Thank you. And I really appreciate everybody showing up today because apparently we had the option not to to celebrate our womanness. I didn't so. know that. I wish someone <laughs> would have told me before. This table would be pretty empty. It would be very empty. <laughs> that about the red too. I didn't know that until I, I didn't to hear work. the red, but I, didn't I did. Either. I did know we had the option not to show up. Sort of. I, I'm not sure that would have gone over very well in the newsroom with our boss. But I do think it means just champagne and the, uh, out in the sun. The rest of the afternoon. Right. Today we'll just today. celebrate and, ourselves. And of course, our boss is a woman. It, it's so right. she might not have shown up either. It, you never but know. But I don't think our job is like that. If you don't show up, someone has to be in that seat. <laughs> yes. Well, so you might also lose your I'm job. I'm thinking you're right. But we're going to talk about the people that chose not to show up today and what that has meant for society. But first, we are very glad to have two people that showed up for us in the kitchen. And we're glad they're not women as well because we have two <laughs> handsome men, Chef Justin Sells and Robert Boyland from Cask and Ale. What are we making today? Today we're going to do a Mediterranean style breakfast dish called shakshuka. Shay who? Shakshuka. <laughs> Shak <laughs> Shak <laughs> Shuka. Oh, I like it. <laughs> we got dancing. We got, it appears, some libations as well. Robert, what are you going to mix up? We're going to do Cascanel Sarasota signature cocktail. We've got the pecan old fashioned. All right. I've never had that. I never have either. See, so. and this is all for Women's Day. They do, they're doing it for us. That's right. We're celebrating women with shashuka. A different way. I like it. A different Breakfast way. Breakfast in bed. There we go. <laughs> that is a wonderful way to celebrate. All right. It is time for our first hot topic. And what would happen in a world where women did not exist? Well, that's what people around the globe. <laughs> there wouldn't be children. <laughs> Good point. None of us would be here. That's what people around the globe today are attempting to demonstrate by taking part in one of the largest ever international women. Day protests. So participants are encouraged to skip work or school and avoid purchasing anything in stores or online to show just how critical a role women play in society. Women make up 87% of U.S. elementary school teachers. So in some states, entire school districts were closed today. Here on the Sun Coast, a candlelight vigil and rally will take place in front of the Manatee County Clerk of Courts building in Bradenton starting at 7 p.m. What do you think about the not show up factor to prove the point? What, what, what point are we proving? Because I'm very confused. How, how the different the world would be if there were no women in it. Or if women, no I mean, or if women did not work, I yeah. believe. It's, it, this started as the day of the working woman and mm -hmm. kind of evolved into the day of the woman. I like uh, it. I mean, I think that it's going to create some vitriol and some debate, which is good. But it, it, let's take a day and, and um, look at what the impact is if women don't show up and do all of the things that people take for granted that women get done in this world. But you have to show up with a theater doesn't open. That's, I'm here and I'll be, I'll be <laughs> but, uh -oh. but that's the point, uh -oh. isn't it? But that's the point. If I don't show up, if you don't show up, mm -hmm. what, what are the things that don't get done? But I think, I, I think it's almost, I can't believe that we're having to explain this. It's almost self-explanatory. Like yes. Linda said earlier, without a, a, a woman there, we wouldn't have children. Mm. We wouldn't, you know, mm. that's the requirement to, for that process to occur, you know? Right. And then just like every other job, we perform them. So I'm just confused as to why people think that we're... Um, not important. Well, think about the concept of striking. You know, workers strike to prove you can't do this without me. So this is I supposedly mean, a day for women concept. to mm -hmm. strike and say, look, I am a valid point of society. But I agree with you. And to me, are, this is know? just a no-brainer. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure not participating in life for a day is a good way to prove a point. Well, they're I protesting. Guess. And if they mm. couldn't be protesting if they were working. True. Yeah. So it's good yeah. to see the protesters out there. Those who can should and those who can't. We'll applaud we them. We should 
do the other part, not buy anything, I guess. I think oh. that, that too. I mean, we're, women are such an economic driver yeah. and mm -hmm. making that point. And, you know, just quickly, at the, at the Women's March in, in St. Petersburg, there were a lot of women around me who were in their mid to late 60s who were saying, I can't believe we're here having to do this again. Mm -hmm. So I think that, you know, one of the points here is we can't take for granted that it is understood. I think that part of the point of doing something like today is to um, make sure that we don't relax into it's just accepted that women are valued and uh, every once in a while make a little noise about it. Yeah, I guess you're right. right. You know, we I think women thinking are about valued. Everything. They just don't want to pay us as much. So <laughs> well, that's part the hump it. we've really that's got to part of it. Well, we're here, we're working, and we're getting paid. So that's the way we celebrate it today. <laughs> Film actress Emma Watson is being criticized for a revealing Vanity Fair cover. Some are saying it goes against her feminist beliefs. The Beauty and the Beast stars say the photos embrace her sexuality, and no way does that infringe on her feminist belief system. She says the photos actually strengthen her. So this brings back the argument of whether a woman's sexuality is being used as an empowering tour or whether it is just to get the attention of men. So what do you think? I think beauty is one of our most powerful things. There's nothing wrong with being a beautiful woman. It's like we have to cut off a part of ourselves to be accepted. No, you can't be a beautiful woman. You just got to be a thing, non-sexual thing. I think the beauty, the sexual beauty of a woman is a very powerful and wonderful thing. And okay to I, put forward okay. in that manner? We aren't okay. I have a more superficial view of it. I think that if you have it, you should flaunt it. Hmm. <laughs> if know. I had it, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't Stephanie looks mixed. I, I, I'm, I'm conflicted on this one, yeah. honestly, because I do, you know, Gloria Steinem had something um, fun to say about, and I won't use the, the, quite the language that she used, but, you know, it's her body. I and, mean, you know, the part of the, the freedom of, uh, for women of mm -hmm. choice is do what you want, you know, with, with your body and express yourselves the way you like. Um, but it is, I think it, it does get tied into um, the objectification of women and we can't, we can't look at it in isolation, you know, we can't look at it and say we, that how th this doesn't contribute in any way to um, the continuation of women being treated as objects and when women are treated as objects it's easier to not pay them less and to treat them in, in ways that are less respectful. So I think we have to look at it in the larger context. I mean I see your point, my only issue with the whole thing is you're then denying that woman. That part of it. Yeah, so it, I think it, we have have to look at everything in the totality Absolutely. of the, the point of you know what yes just because I I look beautiful doesn't mean that I am not smart mm -hmm. doesn't mean that I I am not able to um, wear certain things I think all of us has to have the responsibility of presenting ourselves in a light that is going to encourage and empower others versus um, demean or tear down, mm -hmm. um, especially for little kids to see certain things. But at the same time, you can't put that blanket and say you can't be pretty or sexy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because, because in the 60s, and I started in television in 64, it was don't wear makeup, don't wear a bra, mm -hmm. let your hair go straight don't, and don't, don't, don't wear don't a bra. Cut. You yeah. need to wear a bra. <laughs> <laughs> we all need to wear a bra. That was a part of it. That was a part of it. Well, speaking of Beauty and the Beast and Emma Watson, the movie opens next week, but not without controversy. It includes a gay character. Josh Gad's role as LaFou is being portrayed as a gay man, specifically in a single moment at the end of the film where he is seen dancing with a man in a crowded ballroom. Some theaters reportedly choosing not to show the film, while others, including Gad, believe this content is suitable enough that nobody should be making this into a big deal. What do you think? A problem with this in a children's film? Oh, come on. <laughs> Children have no problem with this at all. The, it, it's uh, some adults that are just stuffy and refuse to like of, anybody that's not like them. But it's all of this, everything we've talked yep. about so far is all adults who have issues with it. It's not necessarily, <laughs> and at this day and age when we're talking about equal rights for everybody, yep. how can you, you say in a film you can't represent that? I yes. literally just sat here and thought the theme of today's show is I can't believe we have to talk about this. <laughs> yeah. I know, and I yeah. mean in a, in a yeah. good way though. Like, it, it makes me sad that we have to have these discussions about should we include this and should we protest yes, that? Like, why is this an issue? But like Stephanie life? says, it's important to have that mm -hmm. dialogue because mm -hmm. then you start conversations and then maybe someone will gain something from it and change a mind about something, you know? Yeah. Well, no, so much of what's happened in the last year has reminded us that there, there, we are all over the map in the way people think and, and we can't make assumptions that we're all in accordance. And so this stuff brings to light, you know, that there are people really who do still, who are still who concerned about, about this. What, so, who somebody dances with in a movie? Really? I, I, that's really hard to but believe. It's, yes. A Disney cartoon the other day had two men kissing. Mm. So now we're worrying about, and this is on the Disney Channel. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so. I hear you.
It's out there. It is definitely out there. Well, and I, I don't see what the issue is. Right, exactly. And that seems to be people still have them. Just I guess mine, why, why can't we just all mind our own business? <laughs> exactly. You do what exactly. you want to do with your life. I'll do what I want to do with uh -huh. my life. And then we just keep And have moving. a mutual respect <laughs> yeah. as yeah. a result. That's for sure. Well, here's a case where maybe getting into someone's business can make a difference. Facebook Live allows us to take part in other people's life events in real time, whether we like it or not. But that does also include an alarming trend of people taking their own lives while streaming live. So Facebook is now announcing a real-time suicide prevention tool. This is interesting. It utilizes artificial intelligence to identify warning signs of self-harm by users. The goal is obviously to connect people in distress with people who can help. What do you think about that? Taking their own lives on Facebook Live? People do. That is so disturbing. It is it, very yes, disturbing. It, it's it heartbreaking. Is a, it, it is heartbreaking. It's a cry for help. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the that most, can't be answered. That, right. Yes, it, and, and I think if there is a way to get them help, you know, uh, on the top of uh, the bridge on the way mm -hmm. to Tampa, there is a phone. So if you're up there and yeah. about to jump, there's a phone you can call for help. Uh, so this is the same thing, I think, on Facebook. There is a way to get help in the very last seconds before mm -hmm. you make a move that can never be reversed. And make a difference, hopefully. Right. Yeah, you know? that's, that's very sad. But I think it's interesting they're utilizing artificial intelligence and that there's a logarithm that, you know, can check those signs. However you do it, I think is, it doesn't matter, you know, if it's artificial intelligence or someone just realizing a post, I think the key is to get the mm -hmm. person help mm -hmm. at the time and when it's, they and need it. And it's creating, it. the, what's the best, the best thing about Facebook is when it creates a community of support. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah. absolutely. Very positive, That's hopefully, sad. in this case, to make a difference. All right, well, Daylight Savings Time starts on Sunday. It's one of my yeah. least favorite days. Oh, I days. hope I remember oh. that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we like the daylight, but setting that clock ahead an hour, you know, it just doesn't seem like a big deal, but it actually makes for some dangerous road situations. Doctors say it could take up to a week for our bodies to adjust. And research shows that drivers who lose those one to two hours of sleep increase their crash risk. Another study says that sleep depth deprivation on the Monday after the start of daylight savings time results in an increase in fatal car accidents. Oh, toughen up, people. <laughs> You've lost one hour of sleep. What kind of whips do we have on our roads? <laughs> I agree with Linda. I agree with you, but think <laughs> about it. I mean, about we, everything. we do complain about everything, but I bet we will feel this on Monday. I feel I mean, every we year. all do, but not just Monday, any day. <laughs> I didn't get enough sleep yesterday. And, and back to women. Mothers are up all night long with young children. They lose sleep every night, and they're driving, and I bet they're not yeah. having most of the crashes. Toughen up people. You heard the lady. I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, you may love this. The Sun Coast, of course, offers plenty of beautiful oceanfront property, but check out the view this family ended up with. A homeowner near Port Everglades, once this looked into, this cruise ship came dangerously close to docking yes. in his yard. This video is amazing. It's the Celebrity Equinox. It was leaving the port, and it literally drove right by Bill Hunter's patio. So you can see that the ship's front thrusters are churning up the water so that it's slapping back onto the dock. It's definitely slowing its approach. They issued a statement saying the ship was navigating under local port pilots and that anything involving a collision or grounding will be investigated. This was just a close. They should drop wow. off the pilot oh. or the driver right there. Can you imagine seeing that massive ship six feet from your backyard? <laughs> I feel like that was just an invitation to come on. Tomorrow. Yeah, no kidding. They just I'm said, send a little boat for me and I'll go on. You could have hopped on a dinghy yeah. and enjoyed that cruise. Very fun. All right, we're going to check in with our happy hour forecast. And when we come back, we're going to talk about an important health condition called leaky gut. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. A beautiful day once again. Temperatures warming in the low 80s and a cold front is approaching north central Florida right now. You can see it producing just a few showers, not many clouds associated with it. It's not a very strong front. In fact, it's becoming parallel with the overall flow and this will continue to sag southward over the upcoming 24 hours. Uh, we are going to see a little change tomorrow, but not much. Currently, we have just a few clouds around 76 mild degrees. Dew points up there. Winds out of the west southwest at 10. The pressure still high, 30 21, but not nearly as strong as it was earlier this week. That wind forecast calls for more of a northerly flow beginning to late tonight and then turning to the northeast. Some fog maybe to the north of us. We'll have a chance for a little bit of fog here, but not much. Sustained winds are not all that strong. In fact, a little sea breeze has kicked in. You can see it all out of the west now. Anna Maria at 8, Mayaka City at 9. And 
Winds down south, uh, not nearly as um, intense in Port Charlotte at five miles an hour. Well, more in the forecast coming up today at five. See you then. They say the stomach is the gateway to health. But have you heard of something called the leaky gut? It can lead to some major health concerns, and we wanted to find out how to stop it. So here to tell us more is Dr. Fred Harvey from the Harvey Center. Leaky gut, Dr. Harvey, I've never heard of that. What is it? So leaky gut's a, a condition of function for the body. It's not really a disease, but um, from our lips to our anus, there's a tube that is going through our whole body, but the contents of it are essentially outside of our body. If you think about it, it's open on both ends, and things pass through it. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah. So uh -huh. in that, we have a kind of a wall. It's not an average wall. It's a really selective, intelligent wall that allows certain things through, nutrients, mm -hmm. and doesn't allow other things through, like parasites and, and bacteria and toxins. But um, when you look at the, the lining of the gut, it's got a one cell layer of protection. Oh, that Just doesn't sound very one cell strong. thick. Yeah. And in the diagram that's on the screen, there are um, some healthy purple cells on the left of the screen, and they're really tightly connected. Mm -hmm. When the gut lining gets insulted with things like allergens, toxins, and infections, the tight junctions between those cells spread out. And things that don't normally get in sneak between those cells. Mm -hmm. And they get into the blood system and the lymph system <laughs> below the cells, and then they start irritating our body. Oh. And they start breaking things down. What do they cause? What uh, conditions do they cause? Well, everything from... Uh, well, it's not, it's not direct cause, and this is a, a, an issue between functional medicine and uh, conventional Western medicine, mm -hmm. and that is that it's not really a disease, it's a process. Mm -hmm. And so they're directly impacting other problems, but they don't necessarily cause them directly. So autism, Alzheimer's disease, cancer, really? diabetes, cardiovascular disease, yeah. All these things. So it's like have things a getting into our system that shouldn't be in uh -huh. our system. Right. And they junk up the system and the system degenerates and then it causes problems. Oh. Arthritis. Um, um, I've got problems. all of these things, yeah. I think. <laughs> all these things are created by a leaky gut. So how do you look for it? Because obviously it's not the sole cause yeah. of all of those things. How how do doctors analyze whether that's possibly well, happening? Has anybody ever heard of irritable bowel syndrome? Yes. yes. It yes. is really prevalent, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So anytime you have symptoms like that, it's likely you've got leaky gut ah. because things are breaking down and creating symptoms. Uh -huh. And so that's one of the first signs. If you have indigestion, maldigestion, um, cramps, uh, loose stools, constipation, anything that's weird with your digestion, you probably have something wrong with the barrier because mm. the barrier controls a lot of what's going on inside there. Okay, well, how do you solve this then? Solving it, that's a, a really wide thing. But if, if you think about the causes, um, on that diagram, we saw that at the top, there's a lot of things that uh, play into it. So just starting with stress, we talked about it. Uh, daylight savings times is coming up. Mm -hmm. So that little stress on the body is enough to break down the gut barrier. So our gut may mm. leak Monday? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm not looking forward to this. And it decreases our overall function. It decreases the way we think. It decreases our alertness. It decreases our vitality. And so... That little stress can push it out. Women um, have huge amounts of stress. Uh, having a job at home and having a job at the job, mm -hmm. raising children, chasing them around, chasing their husband around, all this stuff, there's a lot of stress there. We agree. We agree. Why do you think women have more iteral bowel syndrome mm -hmm. than men? Mm -hmm. We have a lot more stress going in, the, in women. It's really uh, 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 hurtful. So to fix that, we want to go to something that the Institute for Functional Medicine came up with called the 5R program. The 5R program. Okay. I have not heard of this. So explain that. So um, the first is remove. We want to remove the things that are causing the problem. So we remove allergens like um, um, celiac, uh, uh, the gluten mm. um, protein in wheat, or the egg white protein that causes problems, or toxins. We want to get things like aspartame and sucralose out of our diet because they damage the gut lining. Mm. And we want to then replace the things that are missing, like enzymes. Um, sometimes when we abuse the system, it stops functioning well, so we don't make enough pancreatic enzymes to digest, or enough bile acids, or stomach acids. So we put these back in until the gut recovers. Okay. And then we put some more things in, re-inoculate with good bacteria, because mm. the microbiota, the, the uh, bacteria that live in our gut, the family that helps us, mm -hmm. um, we need to re-inoculate that, because often they are damaged. You know, if we eat too much um, saturated fat or too much trans fat, it'll kill some of those good bacteria. 
Mm. Um, aspartame and sucralose kill some of those good bacteria. Antibiotics kill those bacteria. Oh. Stress kills those bacteria. So we need to put good ones back in, so a really good quality probiotic. And it's food, prebiotic, which is good fiber coming from things like jicama and okra and oats and uh, green onions. They help those good bacteria grow. And okay. so then we, that's that re-inoculate helps mm -hmm. the repair mechanism because you need good bacteria to ferment fiber to make mm -hmm. the food for your gut. If you put fiber and bacteria together in your gut, you get short-chain fatty acids which nourish the colon and make it thrive. Mm -hmm. And so that's the repair part of it. The, the colon starts to go and then rebalancing is dealing with this coming Saturday. We have to find a way to balance the stresses in our lives so that we can prevent the next thing happening. Wow. So you can take preventive Absolutely. action then. That's so good to know. And I know there's a lot more that goes into this. And you've got a program called Ask the Doc. Yes. That's coming up on March 22nd. That's right. Yes, that should be interesting. You can find out how you can apply this to your life. And for more information, go to the HarveyCenter.com. HarveyCenter.com for more information. And we'll be right back. I entered into real estate to help people. I would like to invoke a trust in people that I will do everything in my power to help them navigate the process of either buying or selling a home. Well, I know how stressful buying a home can be. I've bought and sold properties in the past before I was an agent. I want you to be able to trust me to stay in contact with you, be available to you whenever you have questions. My name is Kimberly and I want to be your real estate agent. Are you considering joint replacement or revision surgery? Consider this. Dr. Edward Stolarski has performed thousands of successful joint replacement procedures and trained surgeons from all over the world. Using advanced technologies, Dr. Stolarski is able to perform some of the most complex surgeries. I wish I knew about Dr. Stolarski much sooner. After the surgery, I don't have any pain. It's like I've got a 16-year-old hip. My name's Ed Stolarski. What I really do is I give people back their life. Schedule a consultation today. Car experts and customers agree there's a whole lot to love about a new Subaru. Subaru offers more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. And Subaru had the best resale value of all brands for 2016. Now you can lease a new Subaru Forester for just $209 a month or get 0% financing during the Subaru A Lot to Love event. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. I was always worried and scared. Mom was in pain. She wasn't going to get any better, and all the trips to the ER were painful for all of us. Then we called Tidewell Hospice, and everything changed. Now she has care in our home when she needs it, surrounded by family. We know we don't have much time left with Mom, but we decided to make the best out of that time. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Welcome back. American Stage Theater is just over the bridge in St. Petersburg, and I'd say it's a kind of a classic mix. Your mm -hmm. schedule of plays and musicals. Producing artistic director Stephanie is with us as our co-host today, so we want to talk about some of the great things that's happening uh, at the theater. And right now, this play called Informed Consent, a lot of deep talking going on about this play. Tell us about its its basis. It's a really timely piece um, and it'll, the entire second half of our season on our main stage um, are newer plays that have there'll be Tampa Bay Area premieres and Informed Consent by Deborah Zoe Laufer is about DNA research mm -hmm. and the lead character is a, a genetic anthropologist and she is for her own purposes, um, personal purposes, really trying to uh, kind of crack DNA codes to um, come up with some solutions and, and uh, to some serious, pretty serious diseases. Um, but in pursuing so aggressively this research, um, she is working with this uh, uh, Indian tribe out of the Grand Canyon, and she pushes the boundaries of what is really acceptable 
uh, vis a vis informed consent mm. and um, gets herself in a little bit of trouble. But the play is so such a, a really human story about, you know, our really wanting to take care of ourselves and each other. We've got a strong mother daughter component. Underneath that, it's really asking about are we our DNA, is, is our DNA our destiny? You know, mm -hmm. and, and, and how much do we really want to know right. about our DNA? And then do we have, it should be our choice not to know. And how much can we control about who we are, or is that just the way we were born? That's I was right. fascinated right. when I started reading the background of it's the play. It's really interesting, and it's based on a true story of some research that was done um, around DNA and, and some, again, some ethical issues around that. So it's got both this great science component thematically, but also just, the, again, the this really so human element. This is so because this is something that people are dealing with now. You yes. know, you have all these tests where you can check to see what you have and if you'll get certain illnesses, and it's that same question. Do you really want to know? Can you really avoid it? I know, that's you know, a good it's question. Amazing. Do you want to know? If you could look into that crystal ball and know about your... I personally wouldn't, because it, it would stress me out too much, mm. and then I wouldn't be able to live my life today. And me people too. are so curious, though, because there are these these companies are popping up all over yeah. that are offering, you know, you send in your your, yeah. your sample, and, and they right. send you right. information. All of your and, background. And all what your is that? Ancestors. Yes, and does that change how we perceive ourselves? Right. Well, we have it would this be hard to be prejudiced if you found out that was your great-grandfather. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it would solve some problems. All right, so that is obviously a very serious core to the play. It does. But then you have something very fun coming up in the park, which I know is a tradition mm -hmm. That's right. with American Stage. Tell us about Hairspray. That's right. Well, we're really excited this summer or this spring to be bringing Hairspray to Demons Landing in St. Petersburg because it really is um, an event in St. Pete every year. And Hairspray, So it's outside, it's correct? It's outside in the park. Um, uh, I would like to say rain or shine. Uh, <laughs> we'll just go with shine. shine. <laughs> we'll just go with shine. shine. What happens shine. if it rains? We're um, too. It, we ha have, at, on occasion, had to um, postpone, but um, but uh, for the most part, it's a beautiful time of year to to be presenting. And outside. speaking of beautiful, <laughs> this is our friend Matt oh, McGee. Yes. What a beautiful man, woman. I don't even know <laughs> what I should say. How beautiful he is. Gorgeous. And we all want makeup tips from okay, Matthew. Okay, I want him to do me. I want Are him to make kidding? me up so I, I can know. look like him. That Isn't is not that great? He's coming on Friday and we'll be able to talk to him about this. But Hairspray in the Park, I just think the whole concept of enjoying musical theater out under the stars yes. is wonderful. Beginning so. April 19th, and you got to come see Matthew. He's going to be amazing. Oh, I'd love to see that. He, he is, is a so good amazing. friend, and we do love him, so that will be something very fun. So remember, all this coming soon at American Stage. For tickets and information, you can go to AmericanStage.org. Thank you, Stephanie. From Thank the theater you. to the opera, a Sarasota star will sing for us coming up. Cancer does change people's lives. It is frightening. The treatment for fear is hope. And what works for you is not necessarily gonna work for somebody else. It does take a whole team. This is a, a facility that really cares about the outcome of the patients. So our job at, at Saras Memorial Hospital is to meet the needs of that individual any way we need to meet them. If you've ever had a bad night's sleep, call it Price the new Craftmatic Legacy. It has so much more than other adjustables and still costs up to 50% less. Featuring a rising adjustable pillow rest to support your head, neck, and shoulders, bedside power plugs, under bed night lights, and more. So call it Price one today for less, up to 50% less than Tempur-Pedic Sleep Number and other adjustables. You get so much more and it still costs less. You gotta see how little they cost. Call 1-800-774-8103. That's 1-800-774-8103. Call now. Go ahead, make a fashion statement. Demand something more than just ordinary. Capture elegance in every turn and drive with flair. Where beautiful styling is standard. Stop in and take a test drive. I'll guarantee you'll never go back to plain vanilla again. The all new 2017 Fiat 500, starting at 14999. Only at Sunset Fiat in Sarasota. Official Salon of ABC7.
It's the granddaddy of them all. The 89th Annual Arcadia All-Florida Championship Rodeo. March 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th, the Arcadia Rodeo Association is proud to present this PRCA-sanctioned event featuring some of the world's best bull, bronc, and bareback riding, roping, barrel racing, and steer wrestling. For the little wranglers, there's a calf scramble and mutton busting. Gates open at 11 each day. For tickets, visit ArcadiaRodeo.com or call 800-749-7633. It's rodeo at its finest. Don't miss the 89th All-Florida Championship Rodeo, March 9th through 12th. Welcome back to Suncoast View. We're going to check into the kitchen with Chef Justin Sells and Robert Boyland with us from Cask and Ale. Gentlemen, tell me about Cask and Ale. I know it's fairly new to Sarasota. What's it like? Well, what we really wanted to do is just bring just a concept of craft cocktails and then pair some small plates and a lot of different flavors that tie up and match with those cocktails. So it, it's a, you know, on one side of the menu, we have like some small plates that are kind of built for sharing. And then on the other side of the menu, we have some more larger plates for people that might not want to share. Maybe, maybe it's a larger plate that they can cut up and, and share with, between other people as well. So All right. it's really kind of like a design your own experience. And Robert, I understand you're going to design us quite a drink. Uh, tell us, give us a little preview of the ingredients in this special old fashioned. So we're going to start off with some Basil Hayden's bourbon. That's one of the premium Jim Beam brands. It's a high rye recipe bourbon. 80 proof. We're uh, going to add some house made pecan syrup to that. I've got Angostura bitters, the best from Trinidad, and then I've also got a nut bitters, which is a limited run from Bitter Truth. All right, that's all a lot that. of creative ingredients coming there, and we are going to join you in the kitchen to do that in just a few minutes. Linda? The Sarasota Opera is staging an iconic and tragic love story. Madame Butterfly is considered composer Puccini's greatest masterpiece, and we are thrilled to have the star, Joanna Parisi, who plays the role of Madame Butterfly. I'm thinking with a black wig on. <laughs> that's right, that's right, Linda. <laughs> Tell us about your character. Well, Tell us about Butterfly. Butterfly is a beautiful, beautiful soul, a wonderful woman, and we watch her story. She develops from a 15-year-old child into the most powerful and courageous woman. She has all the hopes in the world, wonderful person, but her tragic circumstances bring us through so many emotions and a very deep story. Oh, wow. Tell us about the love story. Ah, well... Madam Butterfly, she's a Japanese geisha, and she falls in love with an American soldier from, and uh, she's totally, she's never seen anything like him, and she's totally struck by love and warmth, and she'll do anything for him, and she even has a child. They get married, but unbeknownst to her, she thinks this will be forever, but he leaves her, and never to come back, and he only comes back because she has a child, oh. and he comes back to take the child at the very end and she's so sad and she can't live without him oh, no. or the child but oh. she knows it's best for the child so she she kills herself at the end it's terrible oh i just want to beautiful. change this in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes me too yeah well you have to go through such changes you start out as a 15 year old girl and you have to grow because she's cast aside by her family by her religion by her culture yes. and you have to change as an actress through that absolutely you know i think that she She's a character that doesn't realize her own bravery and strength. She never, it's a, that's the saddest part. She's mm. so noble and so kind, the, the story shows us, but she never knows and she doesn't get to understand her own beauty and her own power. But luckily, as an audience, we can grow ourselves and appreciate this and we, we can be moved and changed mm. by this opera. Just the story is, is showing me how moving it is. I can see why it's been so popular. Everyone is loving this show. How's it gone? It's gone very well. I'm very grateful to be part of it. I mean, singing it is a big job, but we have to really give credit to the composer Puccini, who wrote so many iconic operas like Butterfly, Bohème, Tosca, Endless, and our great Maestro Dorenzi, who, who is our leader here. He's done a wonderful job, and I think just the combination of the tradition mm -hmm. and our modernity, our passion, all of us as artists and as a company, is just something special. You know, I think people can't really appreciate you until they hear you sing. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have been named one of Next Generation's best opera singers. And we want to hear you sing. We want to hear Madame Butterfly. She right. totally changes. <laughs> you do not believe what comes out of her mouth. So as you go over to the piano, 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you that you can still see Madam Butterfly. Everybody that's seen it so far is raving about it, so much so that a new performance has been added. It is going to be on through March 25th. For times and tickets and information, go to sarasotaopera.org. And now, Miss Butterfly, Madam Butterfly with Joanna. Joanna, take it away. C7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. Join us for Sarasota Opera's 2017 Winter Festival, opening February 11th. Featuring Puccini's most famous opera, Madame Butterfly, Rossini's delightful comedy, The Italian Girl in Algiers, Poulenc's heartbreaking dialogues of the Carmelites, and the medieval thriller, The Love of Three Kings by Italo Montemezzi. Tickets are on sale now. Call 941-328-1300 or visit sarasotaopera.org. From our studios on Florida Sun Coast, this is an ABC7 News Update. Hello, I'm Scott Dennis. Here's what's coming up at 5 o'clock. A Sun Coast women take part in a global action called a Day Without Women movement calling for thousands to take the day off and not spend any money. Plus, local firefighters gearing up to battle those wildfires raging in Collier County. Now, let's get a check on our weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Well, another beautiful day uh, out in the bay. It was gorgeous out there. We have 76 degrees right now, just a few clouds around. 63 in the dew point, still high. West, uh, west to southwest winds at 10. The pressure 3021, which is high, but there is a front approaching. You can see that front quite clearly, a thin line of clouds and a few showers associated with it. Not many. We're not anticipating much with this front, maybe just a little increase in cloudiness throughout the day on Thursday, but no real threat of any significant rainfall. They could use some, especially down south. Winds will be generally light out of the northeast. Details and all that at 5. See you then. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. You only have one life. Are you gambling with it? One in three adults have high blood pressure. Not knowing your numbers could cause you to lose big time. Luckily, you can turn the odds in your favor by getting your blood pressure checked today. Don't leave your health to chance. Learn more at heart.org slash HPB. 
Luxury for less at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $249 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury, winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was. I can tell you that you will not find a finer, more professional team of clinicians anywhere in the world. And welcome back. The Sun Coast is home to many classic home designs, but it is also known for cutting edge and modern contemporary designs. In today's Sun Coast for Sale, Andrew Haddad shows us some of the best contemporary homes in the area. All right, Andrew, we got to start with the obvious question. That's right. What is contemporary home? I'll tell you, what is it not? <laughs> contemporary, what's nice is there's so many variety of styles. Mm -hmm. Really, contemporary is breaking the mold on the traditional architectural styles. So it's always developing farther and farther. Mm -hmm. And of course, today, you're going to see different levels of contemporary. There's some that are, you know, not too drastic and others that are, uh, you know, really state of the art. Right now, this first home, I wanted to bring this house to you because this is what you see a lot of. Ellington, 398900 This is a gorgeous home. Now, this does have elements of a contemporary style, yet it's still a little bit more traditional. Mm -hmm. So, beautiful home right here. This is an beautiful. oak leaf. Great price point for a house like this. Three bedroom, three bath, over 2,800 square feet. Open design, wow. a lot of sunlight. Very nice. These are elements of uh, oh, contemporary that. that people are looking for. So, again, this doesn't look you know, totally out of the norm, yet right. there's, there's still yeah. elements so of that. So you don't have to be radical. Right. Now watch this. Look at this. <laughs> okay. Here we That's go. Radical. Now this is a little, yeah, a little more radical. Sarasota, this is a brand new house. Wow. Incredible. 478000 This is a three bedroom, three and a half bath, brand new, almost 2,300 square feet. You can see the floating staircase. Mm -hmm. You can see the built-ins and the sleekness of the design. You know, again, we're looking for asymmetrical, modern designs like that. Th this is in every single room, a contemporary designed house. Right. What do you wow. think? Yep. So when you talk about these uh, contemporary designs, are there builders actually making them now? Because I know you just said that was a new construction. So right. is that popular? You know, that's a great question. We are seeing more and more of that contemporary style because it goes, you know, form follows function. Mm -hmm. People are looking for functionality, so mm -hmm. everything is continually evolving. So to answer your question, absolutely. Oh, wow. People like it. So, All right, yeah. get right back into it. All right. We are I love this, by the way. You like oh, this? Look at this. I know, I love these. You gotta put these on TV. This is Sarasota. This is just under 500,000. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, two story home, 2,100 square feet. Again, Babeth, Amazing. super sleek. You know, yeah, really clean, is. straight edges. Um, open design, we see a lot of this. I mean, you see a lot of this in Sarasota when they're building brand new as well. So. Oh, I love that. I'm seeing still uh, all stainless steel. Yep. I've been hearing the pros and cons. Are we still with stainless steel? We are. Okay. Yeah, so stainless steel, you're going to see a lot of the uh, the onyx and the granite and the mm -hmm. natural um, stones as well. So they use a lot of those earthly yeah. stones. And is this our dream home? No, not yet. Oh, not yet. Well, this is amazing. That's a dream yet, view. Yeah, I will take this. This is wow. right. This is Siesta Key, one of my favorite communities. This is Sandy Cove. It has its own little beach. I wanted to show you a condo that is being redone. This is beautiful how, it's, you know, how it shows right now. Still using that contemporary design. So this condominium community is actually fairly, wow. fairly older, mm -hmm. yet they're redoing these with the contemporary design. Open, you know, floor to um, water floor ceilings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And of course the view, you're right on Siesta Key. A lot of open space yep. too. Now I'm gonna bring you the flagship dream home right here. This should be next. Oh my. Bam. Ooh. This is a Frank Lloyd Wright inspired yeah. Fortress. This is steel Fortress. and concrete. This absolutely um, is the epitome of a contemporary modern style, and this is right on the water. So you can see oh, so asymmetrical beautiful. designs. Look at that view. Like yeah. just, you see and the sunset coming off the water. I know. Well, this is actually that was the front of the house, oh, wow. and they have the back. Look at the inside, though. We're going to see state-of-the-art appliances. You know, the functionality, the the fixtures, the lighting. Everything is going to be incorporated 
Um, again, con contemporary, they love those natural elements, and you're going to see a lot of that in there as well. And a lot of open well. space. Very a lot of open, open space. the big great rooms. Absolutely. So, and again, in the back, we have a 180-degree view. This is right on Palmasola Bay. Absolutely incredible. You know, I'd love to... This is perfect for entertaining. Ooh, Look at this. Yeah. Design. Look at that house. Yep. How so. neat. And I know, even, right? So with it, that angle, it does seem like it's um, very contemporary. Very right? contemporary. You can see the sleep Absolutely. lines. I love that. Yeah. All right. Well, if it. you guys want to get more information about any of these properties or even other properties that they have listed, you want to go to their website, search SarasotaHomes.com. And next, we have a sneak peek of Walt Disney. We'll be right back. Being the caregiver for someone you love is truly a blessing, but sometimes you can lose a part of yourself. To be your best, for them and for you, it's important to have time to be able to recharge your batteries. When you call Tidewell Hospice, they can give you a chance to do just that, and with the peace of mind of knowing your loved one is in the very best hands. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction, Hope, and Helpline now for a free assessment. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. Call now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 1-800-764-8708. That's 1-800-764-8708. Come meet the artists and enjoy their creations at the Sarasota Spring Fine Art Festival. Over 100 artists and thousands of works of contemporary art in photography, glass, sculpture, jewelry, and much more. The fourth annual Sarasota Spring Fine Art Festival, Saturday and Sunday, March 11th and 12th on Gulfstream Avenue in downtown Sarasota. Bring your sense of discovery and appreciation of the beautiful to the Sarasota Spring Fine Art Festival. For more information, visit ParagonArtEvents.com. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate... Or shop at Goodwill... I'm creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Welcome back. Well, the view, as in ABC's view, is on location this week at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park at Walt Disney World Resort. And we got a chance to go yesterday, and we will be talking more about that as we go throughout the week. But we also got a chance to meet our contest winners, yeah. our viewers that got to attend a taping of The View on location. I want you to meet them, too. We are at Walt Disney World's Animal Kingdom Resort with our contest winners. I want to introduce you to Mary Pelletier and her daughter, Christina. Mary, tell me why you wanted to enter a contest to come to Walt Disney World to see the view. Because I love watching the view. I love the Suncoast view. That's my favorite show to watch, and I knew that you guys would be here watching it with me. It's just a great experience. I love watching live TV and the opportunity I have to come to the park also today. Oh, we are going to have so much fun throughout the day. And tell us who you brought with you. This is my daughter, Christina Pelletier. Hi, Christina. Hello. All right, tell us about your day here today. I'm just excited to be at Animal Kingdom and to see the view. And I'm looking forward to watching the new Rivers of Light show tonight that I haven't seen before. So excited. It's a beautiful day. 
It certainly was a beautiful day, and so I hope they had a great day. Congratulations to them. Yeah, a lot of fun. I think they enjoyed seeing the way TV works, as did we, in a, in a different way. So a lot of fun, beautiful day. We'll talk more about that. And also, I shared some of your questions with the girls, and they have some fun answers about how life works on their view. So we're going to talk more about that coming up on Friday. But we've all been waiting to head to the kitchen to learn more about cask and ale. Stay with us. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. She's excited for you, and you want to be stunning for the big day. Treat yourself to a natural, youthful look and let your true beauty shine through. Dr. John Feza brings experience, artistry, and advanced technologies to help take years off your appearance. Enjoy all the years of bliss ahead with confidence. Call today to schedule a private consultation for a facelift, eyelid lift, firmer jawline, or laser resurfacing. Faces by Feza, only at Center for Sight. From our studios on Florida Sun Coast, this is an ABC 7 News Update. Hello, I'm Scott Dennis. Here's what we're working on now for 5 o'clock. Surf, sun, and a lot of love for Florida beaches. Spring breakers sweeping the Sun Coast. See how they're enjoying their time. In Sun Coast traffic watch right now, no major accidents in the area slowing down traffic. However, drivers are experiencing delays north and southbound. US 41 right near 301 interchange there in Sarasota. Now let's get over to Bob for more on our weather, Bob. Well, get a look at Tower Cam right now showing a beautiful day out in the bay. Some sailboats out there uh, having fun and winds not nearly as strong as they have been. We have a cold front headed our way. Looks like that front will bring a few clouds, but not much in terms of a big change in our weather. And it looks as though we'll see a beautiful sunset tonight. Not a problem with that at all. We will see a cold front, though, come through over the weekend. We'll talk more about that front and what it means for our temperatures getting back into some winter coming up at 5. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. Since 1928, Karistan has been setting the standard in carpets and rugs, producing non-allergenic wools that won't promote the growth of bacteria or dust mites like other carpets will. Karistan wools actively remove contaminants from the indoor air, making your home healthier. And there are many colors and patterns and textures to choose from. Come see for yourself. So many possibilities worth exploring. Manasota flooring. With a top prize of $10 million, the new $10 million world-class cash scratch-off from the Florida Lottery is your ticket to take on the world. world-class cash scratch-off from the Florida Lottery. One of our life-changing scratch-offs offering billions in cash prizes. Hurry in to Sunset Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, and Sarasota for big savings on some of America's best vehicles. Over 100 standard and available safety features make the new Chrysler Pacifica a safe investment for any family. And right now, you can buy one for just $24,999 or save up to $11,000 on a new Ram Crew Cab during Ram Truck Month. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram in Sarasota. Although the financial crisis was some years back, it's still hurting many seniors today. But if you're a homeowner 62 or older, there's a mortgage program that just might make life a little easier. It's technically called a home equity conversion mortgage, but to keep it simple, let's call it a reverse mortgage loan. With the reverse mortgage, you can convert your home equity into cash. We're not overwhelmed with paying the bills anymore. And at the same time, Eliminate your monthly mortgage payments. We've got money in the bank. You never give up ownership. And smiles on our faces. For your free information, kid, call now. You'll have to pay your property taxes and insurance and keep up with maintenance, but you won't make mortgage payments. You'll receive money. For your free information, kid, call now. Call 1-800-634-1517 for more information. That's 1-800-634-1517.
Coming up Thursday at 4 on Suncoast View, we'll have a preview of Sarasota Orchestra's upcoming concert. And we're so honored famed conductor Anu Tali will join us here in the studio. Jodette Law Group's going to talk to us about bankruptcy and what you need to know in the state of Florida so that you can survive it. Plus, we have Sarasota Suncoast Kids Program, at-risk kids, who are being taught the art of furniture making and how it's making a difference for them. Plus, Tsunami Sushi joins us in the kitchen. We're here in the kitchen with the guys from Cask and Ale. I love Cask and Ale in St. Pete. You're in Sarasota now. Yes, yeah, so happy to be here. It's wonderful here. Awesome. We're glad you're here. All too. right, so what Thank are we you. making? Oh, so we are going to do a shakshuka, which oh, is a. It's uh, fun to say. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> It sounds like a dance to me. <laughs> but uh, it's, quite, it's a Mediterranean dish started in North Africa and then kind of eased its way up towards the eastern part of the Mediterranean. And it's basically three component or two components, really. It's the sauce and then eggs that are cracked into the hot sauce mm. and then sheared or finished off in the oven. And then we're going to go one step further and we're going to take a zatar spice, which is a Lebanese style mixture of uh, sesame seeds, mm. fresh thyme, mm. marjoram, um, and a little sumac. And we're going to brush that onto the, uh, to the pita breads and finish that off. So I'd like to start off with the sauce, uh, which is really the foundation of anything uh, that's tasty. Onions? Yes. You got your uh, chalica. A lot of people will start with like uh, onions, celery, and uh, <coughs> carrots, but we're going to actually go with a little bit of bell peppers. Okay. Oh, that was bell pepper? Uh, celery and bell pepper, yes. Celery so now and bell pepper. That combination will really start to sweat. And you really kind of know when the best time to add your next ingredients when you can smell the last one. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind of a, a good little yeah. tip. So, right at, as soon as I start to smell those peppers, that's when we start to move on. Okay. A little mixture of kosher salt and black pepper. Let those uh, seasonings develop inside the sauce oh, so we don't have to I season too much. It, yeah. There we go. Thanks for the cue. Next, <laughs> next ingredient. <laughs> next ingredient is our uh, garlic. Oh, we should smell this very quickly. Wow. Uh, and well, not just a little garlic. It, well, a little to some. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be smelling Bobeth the rest of the evening. <laughs> exactly. So, again, just letting it sweat, letting it get really, you know, let those flavors melt. A lot of these, you know, a lot of these ingredients have oils, and you want those oils to release inside the, the dish to to really become round and soft. So uh, next we're going to add a little bit of tomato sauce, just uh, actually just plum tomatoes that have been pureed down uh, to be nice and smooth. When you really cook, do you have it divided out like this? It, right beside it's, you? it's a habit of mine, yeah, absolutely, because I can really just don't even have to worry about it. I can multitask, I can get a glass of wine. He's I a could, sous you know, chef. Mm. Exactly. I just, well, just and to not away. have the mess, like I get so bummed when I look over and see all the cans, yes. but that's such a nicer way to cook. Uh, you know, some people like to do fancy glass dishes, but I've always been a fan of my dishwasher safe class. Yes, I think that's good. <laughs> and you know, what? And if, and if, I'm, if I decide to use a half dish, I could always just put the lid back on and pop it back in the fridge. So mm -hmm. another little fun thing to do. So, so again, so now I added the roasted pepper puree, just another flavor to reinforce all those flavors. Mm -hmm. And then to create the base of the sauce, we're going to add some Vegetable stock. Vegetable stock. Just to keep it vegetarian. It's not a bad thing. So you could do a chicken stock if you wanted. Or you do, any other what, kind of yeah, this is, this is the part that, you know, wh wherever your whimsy takes you is where you can really go. I um, can't trust my whimsy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll taste good nonetheless. A little bit of uh, cumin and smoked paprika to really give it that uh, those dry spices uh, to, to you know really develop the flavors. Mm -hmm. And then um, I can't help but put in a little bit of hot sauce and Worcestershire sauce. All right, so bit. while that cooks up, because how long does that take? Uh, to begin to end, you're looking at maybe like 20, 25 minutes. All right, so while that cooks up, we're going to switch gears and go over here to the drinks, because you guys also have amazing craft drinks at your, your location. So tell us about what you're going to be making. We've got a few. Uh, this is our take on an old-fashioned um, John Griffith's recipe. So All right, teach uh, us how. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. So we're going to start off. We've got some house-made pecan syrup. We're going to double down on this recipe, because you look thirsty. I like okay. doubling down. We, so we measure everything. <laughs> One, out of respect to the recipe, and mm -hmm. two, out of respect for our bottom line. Right. Well, and the balance matters. You can't just throw in some syrup, right? Doesn't, Absolutely. Because I know you, you virtually are scientists here. We want you to have the same cocktail every time you come into the mm -hmm. bar and the way it was meant to be experienced. Okay. We're going to have to make this one kind of quick. Absolutely. So we've got Angostura bitters. We're going to mm -hmm. do four dashes there because we're doing two cocktails. We've got this nut bitters, four dashes there. Dashes aren't that much. They're not. That's pretty potent stuff. You're welcome oh. to taste that by no, itself. Thank you. We're going to go four <laughs> ounces of delicious wow. bourbon. You filled that right to the top and didn't spill a drip. That's what I do. All right, and while you shake that up, we're going to get to the cracking of the eggs because oh, I think that's next, right? Yes, Two here right it comes. So now the sauce has really come together. I just finished off with a little bit of uh, green onions. 
Sorry about them, put these eggs. I'm going to lay a little of this right in. That was just ice. Oh, this is ice. Okay. Oh, <laughs> better that than the hot liquid. <laughs> yeah. We've got 45 seconds for me to put the eggs All right. And then you just crack those eggs right in. Yeah, Go right. one, two, three, right across. Uh -oh. All right, uh -oh. Linda. I'm going to let Linda do the egg cracking like an Beautiful. expert. Like a champ. And I'm going to take the. All right, you're going to stir here. Two. Give me a little help. And we'll go ahead and bring the go. finished product out of the oven. There we go. Three. That looks great. And the old fashioned is being stirred, shaken and stirred, it appears. This one's just stirred. Just uh, stirred. Oh, stay. okay. There we go. All right. This oh, is Cask and Ale Small right Plate Craft here. Cocktails. Stephanie, great to have you here with us. Oh, thank yes. you so much. We're going to dig in, take some time, and enjoy this on Coast View.